Say welcome to Brick Attacked. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Greg, and the kid that's shooting me is named Clark, and together Brick Attacked is the channel where we share our Lego collecting journey. Snake's gonna get you. In yesterday's video, we built a Flying Dutchman using pieces from the Lego Mystery Pile, and in that video, I casually mentioned that I found this Toys R Us sticker on this door, and I asked you guys what this set was, and I wasn't surprised when a lot of people told me exactly where this came from, and it's from Lego Set 7848 Toys R Us City Truck, and I ended the video saying that I was going to build a mock for Clark, and when I got all these comments saying that truck is possibly in here, I changed my plan to build Clark a Toys R Us city truck. So this whole situation here is a perfect example of why I like to make videos on a daily basis and then review the comments and make a new video the next day reacting to what's happening because you guys changed the whole path of what I was about to do today. And I actually started on the build last night. Made it to the point where I'm about to build the cab of the truck. And so far, so good. I've had every piece, including the stickers. And I guess that was a giveaway as well as to what the set was that was in here. Now the nephews, they got a little sloppy with the sticker there, but I probably wouldn't have done much better myself. I figure I'll take you along with me on the rest of this and we'll see how far we can get before we miss some pieces, which I'm sure is bound to happen. Do you think we'll have all the pieces for this? Yes. Do you? We almost did yesterday for the Flying Dutchman. I did make one modification to this since the last time you saw it. I found another piece in my collection that'll kind of work in there for the sale. That was our biggest issue. But other than that, he's just been having fun with it. And that's what this whole thing is all about. If you want to preview what this truck's going to look like when it's finished, here it is. And there's also this little store that goes with it, which I may try to build as well. I know I don't have that Toys R Us sticker that's on the front of the store, but we can at least try to build it. That is where we're at. And at this point, I'm going to be getting into bag two, which unfortunately doesn't exist. And we're going to build up the cab of this truck. As I was building this, I started setting pieces aside that I think are going to go with this. The cool thing is I do have both of the exhausts for this and we got lots of wheels and we're gonna need those. That also includes these tiles that go with this set. And I do also have the minifigure for this. I'm just missing his hair, which actually could be in the mystery pile somewhere. Here's what he's supposed to look like right there. That's your whole job while I build this. You find his hair, okay? that's built to spec. This hat's kind of tricky. Yeah, it is. The funny thing about how this whole thing went down is when I left yesterday's video, I said I was going to build a minifigure transporter for Clark that was going to be a mock of my own. And then when you guys recommended this set that I had the pieces for it, this is going to be the Wow. This will actually be the perfect minifigure transporter because it's going to have a whole trailer that he can throw stuff in. So this is actually working out really well and I'm really excited about this. Plus I think the Toys R Us truck is going to be a lot better than anything that I could have come up with. Well I just got to a point where I'm kind of confused here on the instructions. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's not that this is a hard build or anything. It's just these images aren't fantastic like I mentioned yesterday and I've tried a couple different sources. This bar right here, I can't really tell what that is made up of because there's no definition to it. It's just like a black smudge. Whereas the rest of the pieces you can kind of tell. This is why I love YouTube. Take a look at that photo. I can tell exactly what that is now. A shoein. Are you shooting our backlog? Yeah. Soon. I just finished the cab of the truck and so far no missing pieces. There's one last step here. Just got to push those up. Here's what the front of it looks like. Inside there's a bed in the back which I thought was really cool. Of course there's the seat. And then there's the coffee mug inside there on the dash. I don't know how well you can see it, but then this just goes down. Unfortunately, we don't have the sticker here that's a Toys R Us sticker. Here's the view from the side. Here's the view from the back. And now the moment Clark's been waiting for, just putting these together. I'm gonna put the wheels on. Yeah, we might as well. Before we do that though, I just have to finish out this hood piece. This is gonna be really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm I need one more of those pieces. Oh, here it is. I found it. Okay, we're good. Got a little scared there, we didn't have the last piece of the hood. But there it is, and now Clark wants to put wheels on this thing. And now Clarkman has something to play with while I build the trailer. Clarkman didn't do his job finding the minifigure's hair, but that's quite all right. We'll put him in there in the driver's seat. Okay, he's in. Awesome. I have to say, I think this build is way cooler than the Flying Dutchman, that's for no sure. No drive. That's why. There he goes. As he plays with that, I'm gonna build up this trailer which again, I'm missing the big R logo on the back there, but I think I have all the pieces that I need for this. At least it looks that way. Did you break that already? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Here, I'll fix it. This big truck. I'm used to it. What else do we got here? There you go. Fixed. Did you do it? 
It just pops open just like this. Right here. Okay. Pops open just like that. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, guys. Oh. Okay. I can do that. You have to just grab it right here in the center and it goes up like that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, guys. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. I just got really worried if I was missing the last door for this. That would have really been a bummer. It was sad. It's a trailer. Go trailer go on the way. Yeah, it's gonna go on the back of your truck. Go back on my truck. And you're gonna put minifigures and all kinds of stuff in there, I bet. I'm a good way into building the trailer here and I just found my first or didn't find my first missing piece, and it's on this bottom part here. It's not overly important, but you see how this piece comes down. It's sort of like so the trailer can sit up on its own. There's supposed to be two of these here, and unfortunately I only have one. I'm sure I could pick one out of my collection, but I'm gonna keep this authentic and just show what came out of the mystery pile. So there is our first missing piece. And again, the good news is it doesn't impact anything with it. Hold on, buddy, it's not done yet. I gotta put wheels and stuff on it. Oh, that was close. That could have been bad. It's in a huge deal since we're already missing a piece, but I'm on the final step and I'm missing two of these. So that takes us up to three pieces. And I'm gonna put these on here strategically just to kind of make up for the missing space. And again, if I were to be missing pieces, this isn't a huge deal. So we're just gonna take this piece and put it on there like that. That just kind of holds the back wheels straight. So again, the trailer was kind of hit and miss. I'm missing that little piece there. I'm missing that piece on the back, which I think I may have to actually add something else in there. And then of course the stickers were missing. I'm gonna do a little fix up here on the back just to kind of get that corrected. You know what? What? I just found the two pieces. Are you serious? Yeah. I know you guys can relate to me on this, but I swear I looked through this pile yeah. all over the place and I literally just found the two pieces that I was missing. Yeah. Thanks, kitty cat. Maybe I'm just losing it here. I don't know. Let's do this. You ready? Yeah. Give me the front of your truck. Yeah. Dude, that is so cool. There's our minifigure transporter already going in. That's awesome. What do you think, Clark, man? I like it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The doors on the side too. Mm -hmm. There they go. They're going in, boys. Perfect. As I'm sitting here looking at the side of this, I'm like, that looks a little bare down there. Then I went over here and looked at the photo. Yeah, I forgot to put these on the side. That is a fail on dad's part. There we go. That looks so much better now. I'm sure there's already people that are like, you missed that piece. See, watch. That looks so much better, I'm glad I realized that. Not the best system in the back there, but it works. Now that it's actually completed, let's get some shots on this thing before it gets destroyed. Again, missing a lot of stickers from the back, but it is fully completed, and it's pretty cool. Do you think that truck's better than anything Dad could have built for you? Yeah, I like it. Well, that's rude. So rude. So rude. I do have to admit, it's a pretty sweet build. What do you think about building a toy store now? <laughs> As a little bonus, I'm gonna to try to build this and see how far we can get on it. Boom shakalaka! Boom shakalaka! Here is our finished bonus build of the day. Our Toys R Us store, unfortunately unbranded because I don't have the sticker, which I would kill to get that. Got the couple flags on top here. The front fully completed with all the windows and the doors. But what's really important here, just like any Toys R Us store, is the inside. I know this isn't ideal lighting conditions for this, but hopefully you can see the inside of the store. Over here, really awesome. You guys were 100% right. We've got the Lego boxes on the wall. There is a little cashier stand here where your person would stand. And over on this side on the wall, there's a couple RC cars and like a boat. And right inside the door are some toy guns and swords, which I am missing one of the swords. This isn't 100% complete, but I love the inside of this. And I just think that's a great addition to it and a really awesome set. Now we release it to the Clark man. Toys is Us. Toys is Us? Yes. You guys want to see Toys R Us's new mascot? Here he is, the dinosaur. Even better than Jeffrey, I think. Toys is Us. I could bring the truck. I just want to wrap this video up by thanking you for the suggestion to build this. It was a really fun set, and without you guys, I wouldn't have known that I had this, and I probably would have built something else that wouldn't have been nearly as cool today, and I think Clark Man appreciates that too. So, thank you for watching, and as always, the next video, next video.